All peoples, clap your hands. Cry to God with shouts of joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Mass today is that of the 13th week in ordinary time. And Mass today will be offered in thanksgiving for the 16th birthday of Gabriella Martinez. Let us now turn to God our Father as we ask forgiveness for our sins so that we might be better prepared to celebrate the mysteries of our faith. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption choose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words. For this is what Amos says, Jeroboam shall die by the sword and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, Off with you, visionary. Flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying. But never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, Prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. 
The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments, the judgments of, of the Lord are true, are just, and, and all, all of them, them are, are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The, the judgments, judgments of, of the Lord, Lord are, are true, and, and all, all of them, them are, are just. just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. The judgments, the judgments of, the, of Lord the Lord are true, are true and, and all, all of them, them are just. just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments, judgments of the Lord are true, true and, and all of them are just. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your stretcher and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. When we bring a loved one or a friend to church to celebrate the rite of Christian burial. We gather for a number of reasons, but one that's real important to me is to gather because we are people of faith, that we come with that gift of faith within us to surround those who are mourning, who are grieving for the loss of their loved one. That presence of faith is a very important part of any celebration, but especially at the rite of Christian burial, because uh, we give strength, we give hope, and by our presence, with that faith, we are saying to those who mourn that we believe 
in new life and believe in resurrection. And so when we carry someone to the Lord, it's because we believe that the Lord is going to do something wonderful in the life of that person. Today's Gospel reading, we have a short story about people carrying a paralytic to the Lord. It was their faith, it was their hope that the Lord would do something wonderful for that person. And Jesus recognized that. He recognized the faith that they had. And because of that, he was able to work that miracle of giving him back mobility and restoring him to some normality in his life in that community. There's a question of forgiveness of sins, and that was important to the Lord as well, so that the people who were watching would understand that the Lord had that power to forgive sins. And all of this happened because people were praying for one another. We ask people to pray for us, and it's important that we not take that lightly, but that we pay attention to it and include those people or that person in our subsequent prayers, that we offer that intention to God, not necessarily to know what the intention is, only to keep that person in prayer. Very often, people feel that uh, their ability to prayer is gone. They are dried up and they're like dry bones. And so they ask others to pray for them, to carry them to the Lord, to bring them to the presence of Christ. What a wonderful opportunity for us to participate in helping someone else's faith become enlivened, become more real, and become more present to them. Today's Gospel, there are many lessons in it, but the one that I think we should pay attention to and reflect on during these difficult times that we are experiencing is the importance of our community prayer, our prayer together, our prayer for each other, and accepting the invitation to pray for others. In a sense, there is no private prayer, because when we pray, we bring others closer to the Lord. When we fail to pray and ignore it or put no, and, and we do not give it our attention, then there is a danger that we have missed that opportunity to lead someone back to the Lord. And so, the people in today's Gospel are participating in a wonderful miracle that happened. But the ones that carried the paralytic to the Lord are the ones that we think about today. They are the ones that help us understand the, under, the uh, ability that we have to carry people to the Lord, to bring them safely into his presence, and to allow him to work miracles on them. We pray at every opportunity that we have to Our Lady of Guadalupe during these times to help us 
with this pandemic that we are experiencing. That prayer is very important to us as we pray together. And as we pray individually and privately, it's important for us to realize that it's not only for our own deliverance from that pandemic, but we're praying for deliverance of all, all who are ill and who are suffering that pandemic at this time. So our prayer collectively is a very important part of our relationship with God, but also of growing closer to the Lord as well. Trusting that nothing is impossible for God, let us present our petitions to him. That the Lord may keep watch over his church, growing her in holiness and virtue, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may heal divisions and bring an end to violence throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the compassion and mercy of Christ may free all who suffer from any physical or spiritual burden, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the Lord will bless our nation as we prepare for Independence Day and keep us always thankful for the gift of freedom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our own country, that our leaders act with sound judgment, that citizens work together cooperatively and do as they have been asked by the government to reduce infection rates, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our most gracious Father may welcome into his heavenly kingdom all the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we make our prayer to you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord, 
O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Gustavo and Michael our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Mark the Evangelist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Let us offer each other an appropriate sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. 
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Christ, the body of 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 Christ. O oh, Father, I pray for them, that they may be one in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O oh Lord, we pray so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Now I invite you to pray with me a prayer to Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe, in these times of tribulation, we turn to you, O Mother. See with compassion the sufferings of your beloved sons and daughters affected by the coronavirus pandemic throughout the entire world. Ask your Son to have mercy on us, bringing healing to those infected and protection to all your children. Jesus Christ, Savior of all people, grant us courage to accompany and care for the entire world. 
in the wake of sorrow and uncertainty. We seek refuge in you, and according to your promise, deliver us from this danger. Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, Saint Mark the Evangelist, Our Lady of Guadalupe, I wish all of you a very happy 4th of July and I hope that you enjoy it with your family and that you keep safe. Uh, we will continue to pray for each other. Terrible shape. We stayed up there until about eleven o'clock last night. Is that right? And we're at the conference. Yeah, we're good. And it's okay to suffer the pain. I'm just trying to keep on situated. Sure, sure. She was worried about Aunt Mary's kids coming in. Just lots of mom. Yeah. Right, right. Did you just want to go out with dogs? Devastated, but they're all going through different emotions. Absolutely. She conceded the kid in one of the dreams that we would make sure they had dinner for tonight. Sure. Get the fire. She was not satisfied. And I thought that a mass offered for her on the 5th of August for her birthday. Are they the one of ours? our lectionary. 